What up, everybody? This is your boy Snipe G Young, and this is the Produce Market. And today I want to talk about this new tool in Studio One Pro 4 called the Chord Track. And you can say you can never play a wrong chord again if you use this tool correctly. <laughs> I mean, hey, it may be if you can break the system, then I would love to see a video of you showing me if you can break the system. But this is kind of like a, I would like to think of it like a chord quantizer, if you would say. It's, it's, you just have to see it, and you'll see why I say that. Uh, let's just get right into it, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so say, for instance, I got a loop. Um, I'll just use a loop from MVP over here. Drag it over. Um, I'll just leave it at whatever tempo it is. All right, so I got the loop here. It's in G major. So I can go over here to detect the chords with right clicking and then hitting detect chord and then here it shows me the chord progression so it's G B A minor C and C minor so then I go up here and I hit apply to chord apply chords no 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 I'm sorry extract to chord track right here so now um, it has the chord progression up here now what I was hoping that it would be able to, you would be able to do is grab this and drag the chord progression to the timeline but that's not possible but what you can do is make sure first you make sure you have your follow on universal when you're using audio and put your follow on well i'm gonna change that later after i show you okay when i reason why i say you can you can never use play the wrong chords again if even if you can't play chords if you know one chord this tool would allow you to play to anything that you want to loop or anything that you want to mimic that's looped or whatever so let me see so I'll pick a pad that actually goes with that type of vibe let me get a string joint so this is the guitar loop that's that I'm using pretty self-explanatory what that progression is going to be used for or it's just a, a normal progression but if you can't play that's really complex it's really really difficult to play that if you can't play so if i wasn't uh if i don't understand theory and understand how to play chords and all this stuff then playing that would be really difficult for me so if i only low c which is just the, the regular c chord let me get it so you can see this. Hold on. If that's the only chord that I know, watch what I can do with that. Let me get a little click track. I'm going to play C. I messed up. Hold on. Now. That was horrible. But if I hit follow chords here and turn this parallel um, tab on, turn it on to parallel from the, the, the drop down menu here, watch what happens. That's crazy. That's crazy. So I can go even further. I can then click on the chord and it pulls up the circle of fifths so if i want to change the g to a d if i want to if you hit chord track here and go over to the tab you can change it to the next chord you go to the previous chord so i want to go to the next chord i change that to an a the next chord i want to go to uh e let's go to g I'm just going up one in the fifth Okay, so I don't know what this is gonna sound like. I just went up a half on, um, went up a um a step in the fifth circle of fifth, and let's see what that sounds like. Crazy, that's game changing, man. Even if you don't know how to play, you now have the ability to take that progression. And if you didn't want to use this loop anymore, you still have this. That 
that is crazy, man. That's crazy. I would like for them to implement this though. If you if you can go in right here and could just drag this to here, boom. And just go ahead and get the progression because you already have the technology in there to, to detect what the chord is. Why not go ahead and make it to where when you drag this note, this this um chord track down to the instrument track, it just go ahead and populates that progression instead of having to, to do it that way. But this way works perfectly fine because you can do that with any chord if you don't only know a chord you like the chord of the chord um a major you can do the same thing a minor if you only know one chord two chords five chords whatever this tool will allow you to catch a vibe really quick and you can catch a vibe or you can just go ahead and just go along with the loop that you're working with but the fact that it does this at all is simply mind-blowing man this is a great piece of a uh, 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 great addition to the studio one pro four and that's why I say you can never play the wrong chord again.